Hi, this is Doug Masters. It is February 11th, 2015. Snowmageddon, as some people are calling it. We've had a tremendous amount of snow in just under three weeks, and that means ice dams. A lot of people have a tremendous amount of snow built up on their roofs, and when you get into a freeze-thaw cycle, you get these huge icicles and you get ice dams. Most people want to blame their roofer, and when you have a leak, I guess that's natural, but you've got to remember that your roof is not like the hull of a ship. If you took your house, turned it upside down, and tried to float it in the water, it would not float because it's not watertight. And when you have water backups on your roof, that water is going to find a way in, even if you have a newer roof. Well, what's causing this? Generally, what happens is heat is escaping from your house up into the attic, through the eaves, and so forth. And it's causing that area to become warmer than 32 degrees, which is causing melting. As that snow melts and becomes water, it comes down toward the soffits on your house, where it's actually colder and refreezes. And that's when you get these giant icicles and ice backups in the gutters and beyond. And when that water keeps coming down from the higher parts of the roof, it has nowhere to go, so it finds a way through. Well, how do we know this? Let's go take a look at a garage. This is a house. There's heat inside. There's melting going on. If you take a look at a garage, you'll see virtually no icicles because it's an unheated area. So here's a garage. You'll notice there's no icicles because there's no heat source inside. There's no heat escaping up through the roof. There's no melting. There's no ice dams. So what you want to do is in the short term clearly clean off your roof there are companies out there that offer that service master's touch is not one of them uh, feel free to send us an email and we'll see if we can refer you but more importantly you want to think long term what is causing this how can i solve it how do i prevent this from happening in the future so what we recommend is we recommend having us out for a visit we can use our thermal cameras to locate the heat sources and the heat leaks in your attic, assess your insulation, assess air leaks and everything else that's causing heat to get up into the attic. We can also take a look at your existing roof ventilation and see if that's adequate. But sometimes, even with a newer roof, with soffit vents and ridge vents or gable vents or even powered vents, it's not enough to exhaust all the heat and keep the attic cool enough. Another possible solution would be to have different insulation put into your attic and that would be insulation that hugs the roof line or the gables instead of right above the ceiling. That increases the area of what is called the building envelope or the heated area of the house or cooled during the summer. Great advantages of that, it makes your roof last longer and it really should tighten up that area and prevent ice dams from happening. So there's a lot of different ways but you want to really use building science to figure out what's going on. Call 508-359-5900 or masterstouchweb.com is our website if you'd like to connect with us and get an assessment of what might be causing your ice dams. Thanks again. Appreciate your time. Have a great day.